So guys, look who we just ran into. It's Grant Kirkup or Grant Tilda. It's a me. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, Barry. How are you doing? I'm great. Well, I, I sound horsey, but I'm sorry. But I mean, it's the first time we get to meet in person. I know it is, but I feel like I know you already. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I, I feel like I've known you for a long time. So yeah, a few yeah, years now. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's we're all easy. right. But I mean, like, uh, I, well, the only reason I, I came here personally was to see you. But it's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> I'm not lying. It's very kind. What can <laughs> I say? I'm flattered. Oh, by the way, uh, Case, you know, uh, the composer Case Portman? Say that again, the composer? C uh, Case uh, Portman. You know, uh, Case Portman, the, the composer, he was talking to me a few years ago, he was saying that uh, he was jealous that he can't be here today. All right, right. I was saying, yes, sorry, yes, yes. Right, sorry, yeah. well, I, I sound right. terrible. No, no, sorry. no, 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 I just didn't quite, I didn't quite get it at first. I get it now. Yeah. Case, how are you doing? Uh, but yeah, so I, I was with him last night and he was saying that he was so jealous that he can't be here. But he Why, because he got so drunk last night that he can't get out of bed today? Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's about right. But yeah. he, he told me, I didn't find this until last night, that David Wise is right. going to a format in two weeks in Manchester. He is. I'm going there as well as a guest. All right, he'll be there. I'm, I'm not going, but he will be. I know, yeah. So I get to meet both of you in the space of two weeks. Well, I've got to say, we, me and Dave Wise and, and Ken Bayliss and Dr. Doak, David Doak, yeah. have got a little special thing to tell you about next year, but they can't tell you about it yet. But there's something very special going to happen. We'll let you know then. Yeah, but I'm sure you'll tell me after this, right? Yeah. I might. You never know. As long as you keep it quiet. Yeah. Well, maybe if you get me involved, I can help, perhaps. Well, you never know. <laughs> Basically, you know, how's things? Like, what, what's your plans for today? So, I've already been here since yesterday. So, I flew in yesterday. I'm a little bit jet-lagged, I want to say. So, I might try and have a little sleep in the afternoon. A little sleep for the old man. Um, and I'm going to do a banjo panel at 2 o'clock with Steve yeah. Mayles and Ed Bryan and Chris Sutherland from the original banjo team, because it's 25 years of banjo. And then I'm going to go out tonight and get completely shit-faced. No, I'm going to go out tonight and uh, have a little... A little no, I'm not going to get shit-faced. I'm going to go out tonight and have a curry. No, I had a curry last night, so I don't know, Sunday tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do a Mary Rabbids uh, talk about the game. But unfortunately, Davide Soliani, Mr. Mr. Salami, has, is ill. He's got, he's, got a, he's got a massive abscess on his teeth, right? Oh dear. He's taking antibiotics and he's in lots of pain. And I said to him, Davide, when was the last time you went to the dentist? He said it was 10 years ago. So I said, no wonder you've got a bloody abscess. <laughs> Ten years without going to the dentist, I'm surprised you've got any teeth left. So I said to you, go stack the dentist a bit more regularly. So unfortunately, David is not here, so unfortunate. But and then, I got, and then, and then I'm going to go and see David. I'm going to fly to see him on Monday. I'm going to go to Milan, see David and the team there, say hello. And then I'm going to fly to Ghent on Wednesday because it, where Mary Rabbit Spark to Hope's got nominated for the World Soundtrack Awards. So yes. I'm going to the ceremony and I'm going to present an award because I, I won an award. Oh, I hate to say this, right? I won an award for the a movie I did last year, The King's Daughter, with yeah. Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. That won yeah. the award last year. And so I'm going back this year to get for, to try and win the award for Barry Rabbids, which I'm, who wins, who knows. But also they said to me, can you present the award I that, will. That, that, that we won last year? I was like, yeah. I'm in. So I'm going to that. Yeah. And then I'm going home next Sunday, back home, and that's it. I don't very travel cool. very often. I'm old, old guys don't travel, you know. So there you go. Well, look, if you need a helping hand, you have to carry around, I can. I can do with a bit of a helping hand, <laughs> I'll tell you. Can I ask you, right, but maybe you've never asked this before, but right. have you ever pictured uh, Banjo-Kazooie in different types of format, like even like, like a play or a pantomime, you know, series or a musical? I, I, you know what, I feel like Banjo-Kazooie could be a good pantomime. Yeah, I think it would. Yeah, but I guess the Americans don't get that, right? They don't, the Americans oh, don't, no, they don't. They don't get that whole pantomime dame thing. They think that's weird. Yeah. But like, uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think Banjo-Kazooie would be a great cartoon series just too. Yeah. I think that'd be great. Um, but um, who knows? You can, you can, you can but hope. Yeah, I think if it was a pantomime, who else would play, you know, Gruntilda, it'd be you. Well, Mumbo, Mumbo Jumbo. You think? I, I did the voice for Mumbo Jumbo, right? He yeah. can both come, so... Go on, say, say, say a line. The thing is about with Mumbo Jumbo, right, is that I, I, when I do it, I, I, I took my voice, but I, sample, but I pitched it down a bit yeah. so it sounds deeper. So it could be like, he can both come. If you pitch that down, it's going to be Mumbo, like uh, Ubenaka, like that. Yeah. So that, you know, cool. that's it. Yeah, can I please play banjo? You can, you can, you can if you like. You can, could you be in a big suit, right? Yeah. So there. Yeah. I can, yeah. I can see it though. I can see it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just thought of it just you know, the other day. I mean, like, like banjo would be a great pantomime for something. No, I think so. Yeah, it would be great. Forest, you know, yeah, it's got a witch in it. All, I, I think it's got all the elements of that stuff. Yeah. yeah it'd be cool. Like but Barry, you should, Barry should write a you know, You should write a pantomime and, perform, and get it performed. Correct me if I'm wrong. You, you've never done music before, have you? Like written a musical? I haven't. I have done. Well, I've, I've done the songs for the for the Phantom in Mary Rabbids, right? And that's kind of that's more yeah. song musical based, right? So I'm sure I could do it if I got the chance, but I doubt, I doubt I'll get the chance unless Barry does it, of course. But you know, we'll give it a go. Yeah, we'll give it a go. I'm in.
That's all you're saying. I, 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 want, I want paying though, right? I want paying, you know. Yeah. Not for free. How much do you want? <laughs> how, much, how much have you got? <laughs> <laughs> got a tenner in here, if you want it. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Thank you, appreciate it. Barry, as always. Nice to see you, sir, finally in real life. Yeah. I feel like I've known you for years anyway. So. I know, yeah. Thanks, guys. Having a crack later. Yeah. Woohoo!